Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Today we're doing the 70 mile per hour highway range test on my 2024 Tesla Model 3 Performance. Now this has less than 300 miles on it right now, so it is a very fresh battery. And last night I topped it up to 100% until the charger cut off just a few minutes before I left the house. It's about a mile and a half between my house and the highway, and then everything else after that is going to be 70 mile per hour until I do a U-turn and come back the exact same direction. So this is going to be a loop test, so the wind should be mostly offset. By the way, there's not much wind today. 10 at the most. It's supposed to be between 5 and 10 from the southeast. So not much wind at all to affect this test. And we're just going to go back and forth on the highway at 70 mile per hour until the battery is depleted. Now I don't go below zero. Once the car shows zero miles and zero percent, that's where I call it. I don't drive until it quits running. I just drive until it says 0% and that is the end of the test. So I did remove the aero wheel covers. Let me show you what I mean. On the Model 3 Performance for 2024, they're not really covers, they're little blades. And I, I don't know what to call them. Sometimes I call them aero covers, sometimes I call them aero blades. But these are what I'm talking about, the pieces in the rim that you can remove and it either gives you more efficiency or it shows more of your brake caliper and the inner workings. I chose the better looking but less efficient way of doing it by removing the aero blades out of the rims. So let's get out here on the road and put some miles in the car. I'll be checking in at 75, 50, 25, and when it's over. Here we are with the 75% check-in. It's not quite sunrise yet, but it is getting close. So here are the stats. I've been told to keep my eyes on the road about a million times already. So you can see we're at 75%. We have gone 62 miles, used 19 kilowatt hours, and 308 watt hours per mile. So just keep in mind, I took out the aero blades. I'm going to call them aero blades because it's not really a, a whole piece. So I don't know what else to call them, but y'all know what I'm talking about. So I will be at a slight disadvantage for the uh, watt hour per mile situation. The driver's monitoring system is on point in this car. I can't look away for a few seconds and it tells me to watch the road. And then if you, you don't react too quick, it beeps at you. I can't tell you how many times I've been beeped at. So I will just continue doing my loop until I hit 50% and I will be back with you to check in. Now, one thing of note to point out that happened in this last loop, I got a warning that said poor weather detected. And um, you know, at the time there was maybe four or five clouds in the sky but I'm not sure what poor weather it was talking about. I mean, it's pretty clear. It's like poor weather detected. Autopilot may be degraded. So I'm not sure what that was about. It just told me to watch the road again, even though my hand is on the wheel. Driver monitoring is very aggressive in the new software. Here we are with the 50% check-in. The uh, I put my sunglasses on and the monitoring system is going in and out because it can't see through my sunglasses. If the sun is shining right on my face, it can see through my sunglasses. But anyway, we are at the 50% check-in and here is our stats. We've been 100 Oh, hush. 
I can't even look at the stats for one second. You can't... Oh my gosh, really? 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 Alright. So, I've just got put in autopilot gel because I looked down at the stats. Now I gotta be real careful about my speed. Slow back down to 71. Will it let me have the cruise control? It won't let me even have the cruise control. Oh boy. Well, I made it 50% of my trip without getting put in autopilot jail. I call that a win. It's just very picky on where you look. Like, I wasn't looking at it. I was looking down at the range. Like, you can't, literally, can't look down at anything. Oh, I'm speeding again. Can we please have at least basic cruise control? Nope. Not even basic cruise control. As I was saying before I got rudely interrupted, here is our 50% stats. We had gone, I think it was 125 miles, used 39 kilowatt hours, and we're down to 306 watt hours per mile. So, uh, oh man, I'm going slow. I'm gonna have to really pay attention to that speed now. Okay, so you joined me here on the side of the road. Nothing's wrong. I'm just at the end of one of my loops turning around. So I figured I would stop and try to get the FSD supervised to come back on. Now it's not as bad as I made it sound earlier because I found out that you can turn on traffic aware cruise control and it still works. So I just downgraded the slider down here to traffic aware cruise control but you can see now I can't change it back to FSD so we're gonna go ahead and put the car in park got a autopilot strike so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that we're gonna go back into full self-driving supervised and we should be pretty much ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and get back out on the road it's not time for a check-in yet I am at 36% just give you a quick glance down here. We're up to 156 miles, 48 kilowatt hours, and 310 watt hours a mile used. All right, getting back on the highway. Well, it's time for the 25% check-in. Let's see where we're at. So here's where we're at at 25%. 187 miles driven. 57 kilowatt hours used and 105 watt hours per mile. We've been traveling for two hours and 46 minutes. Now I'm not getting the great efficiency that I thought I was going to get. Now keep in mind the aero covers are not on the wheels. So that's gonna be two or three percent of it is what I'm estimating. In my previous video, when I went to pick this car up from Oklahoma City, it did have the aero covers on, the aero blades, whatever we're gonna call them. I don't know what we're gonna call them. When I was on the interstate doing 85, I was getting 330, 340 watt hours per mile. Uh, when I got onto this road I'm on now, I was going 74. That's what I normally drive at. So you can see 70 is 71. So I was going 74, which would have been 73 GPS on the last 30 miles of that trip. And at 74, I think I was getting around 300 watt hours per mile. So not too much difference without the blades and with the blades on this car. So we will keep on driving. I got 25% more on my battery. I'll probably check in just before it's over and then again when I get in the driveway. So 
So here we are at 10%. I figured I would do one more check-in on the road. Let's look at the numbers. There you have it, 10% on the dial. Down here we've gone 225 miles, used 68 kilowatt hours of electricity, averaging 304 watt hours per mile. Now if you look over here at the projected range, we have 26 miles remaining. Now just remember in my test, I don't use the buffers. I go till the car says 0% and 0 miles, and that is all she wrote. So one thing of note, we're at 225 miles. That is what I got on the Ionic 5 70 mile per hour range test here. So the Tesla has about 10% more efficiency than the Ionic 5 because I'm pretty sure their batteries are equivalent in size. So you can go, all right truck, just cross the road right in front of me, thank you. You can go 10% further in the Tesla than you can in an Ionic 5 at 70 miles per hour at least. And probably more than that had you had the aero wheel covers on the car. So I'm here in the app just about to be to the end of the test. You can see we have 0.3 kilowatt hours of usable remaining and that's all I'm going to use is the usable. When it shows 0% I'm going to do a U-turn and go back to my house. And there it is, it shows 0% right now. So I'm gonna do a U-turn and go back to my house. When I get back out here to the road, I'm going to map the throttle and I'm gonna show you what people mean by voltage drop. Okay, watch the voltage, we're at 294. It's on the floor. It went down to 263. So that's what we're talking about by bottom bricking a battery is if you pull too much power, all of a sudden you can see the minimum is 240. Now I don't know if that's Tesla official, if it really cuts off right at 240. That's what bottom bricking a battery is. If you give it a lot of throttle, all of a sudden and then it bottoms out the battery effectively. Well, we made it back to the driveway. There's been three extra miles added to the odometer, but it was not at 70 miles per hour, just so y'all know. We are at 0% and we have traveled 253 miles using 76 kilowatt hours of electricity, averaging 300 watt hours per mile. And remember, those last three miles were 40 miles per hour instead of 75 miles per hour. So the results from today were pretty much equivalent from what the first range test was in my 2019 Tesla Model 3. I would have thought I was going to get better in the 2024 Tesla Model 3 performance. We were about 50 miles shy of the... EPA numbers. I'm pretty sure it's 303 in this car. We got 253 and the car is rated for 303. Now keep in mind that's average driving, not all highway. So most people are going to drive in the city some and on the highway some and that's how they get that 303. This was completely highway driving. This is what you would expect to get if you're going on a road trip and only driving 70. If you're going 80, 85, then you're probably gonna get about 200 to 220 at the most. Probably not even 220. I would say 200 at the most because speed really affects your range. So thanks for watching this video. Keep watching my channel. There's some more tests I'm going to do. Of course, we're gonna play around with charge tests. I'm gonna do my version of Bjorn's thousand kilometer challenge. I did that in my previous Tesla and I'm gonna do it in this one and see if we can do it faster than I did a few years ago in my older Tesla. If you're looking at this video considering purchasing a Tesla, there is a link in the description that can get you $1,000 off 
the purchase of a new vehicle? Yeah. If you click that link, I also get $500. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see y'all in the next one.